In this video, I show you how to build an MCP server on your own, quick and easy, using Cole's template for building MCP. But at first, let me show how I build my YouTube MCP server and how it works within N8N. This is a simple workflow in N8N. It has an AI agent with no special prompt. We got the OpenAI chat model with GPT 4.1, which has a context size of 1 million parameters. And we got our YouTube MCP server here as well, configured with the URL endpoint for my local YouTube server. We choose selected here, then we can also see all tools available in this MCP server. And we can now select all here to let the AI decide which one to use. We save it, open a chat, and we do an example prompt. So the example prompt here oh, is a bit too much. Uh, give me a summary about this video and uh, URL of this video. This is a video from, I guess, last week from my channel about Firebase Studio. So let's see what we get. As you can see, it went through all the steps, the chat, the AI agent, chat model, and also the MCP server. You can open it and see here the response from the MCP server directly. So some stuff. And we can now see here in the chat the output. So it got the description and also the chapters and what's going on. Let's do a second one and also grab the comments from the video. So we do analyze the comments of this video and provide a short sentiment about the tool Firebase Studio. And let's see what you said about this video. Okay, we got here back a sentiment analysis. It's mixed to negative. Yeah, because a lot of beta features in this tool, but the YouTube MCP server is working pretty well. So the question now is, how did I build it? I used Tre. AI for it. So let me quickly grab this and move this over to the screen. Here it is. And here you can see in the terminal some logs. The MCP server is running here. Here we can see it, our last request, get video comments, and it received five comments. Okay, here on the left side, you can see the YouTube MCP server, which consists of a .env file where my YouTube key is in it. And you can also configure the API key, etc. Let's open the example. So yes, you have, the, you have the YouTube API key, host, port, and the transport protocol. So you can use SSE and standard input output. So for example, in within N8N with the official nodes, you can just use SSE. And for example, for cloud desktop, you need the STDIO variant. If you're interested in cloud desktop, check out my MCP video here on top, where I showed how to configure the MCP server for this as well. So let's go back here. So we got here the main.py, which is the main implementation with all the tools. So you can see here the tools, search video, for example, in this case, it got a description, search for YouTube video based on a query string. It has three parameters in this case and a, defi a definition what should be returned. And then it's using the YouTube client framework to get this results. We got a comprehensive readme file as well with all features listed or all tools listed, as well as some instructions how you can install and use this server. Then we got the utils where the actual functionality for the API is implemented, the base URL for the YouTube API here, for example. And yeah, this is the requirement document for pip to install all necessary dependencies. And that's it. So now the question is how to build this on your own. Therefore, I prepared this reference folder here on top. So I will link my GitHub repository in the description, so you can use this as well. In there is the YouTube MCP server as seen here and the reference folder. 
we will now use to create another MCP server. So this is based on Cole Medin's video about MCP servers with best practices. I link it on top. If you didn't see it, watch it. It's very good. And we use this to build our MCP server here just with Vibe coding in Tray AI. Maybe one thing to mention, this is not production ready. So it's just for educational purpose. Okay, let's do this and build a simple MCP server. I prepared here a prompt, not copied everything correctly. Yeah, it is. Build a simple MCP server based on. So we have to replace this by hash and folder. And we choose the reference folder. So it has a reference to this folder and use this files within it. And we can then also replace the example by folder. And here we use the example server. <clears throat> and we want to have the name Dynamos MCP server. So what we want to do with this MCP server is crawling a static web page which is in this case dynamos.ai, which is an AI community built by Cole starting end of the month. And yeah, we just want to get the contents from it, just plain text. We want all the content and we want to implement proper logging so we can see what's going on in the MCP server. Okay, let's just fire this up. Maybe one thing here, you can choose your model here on bottom right. Yeah, there are a lot of commercial pro models here and also GPT 4.1, which is pretty new and a pretty large context size as already mentioned, but I will go with Cloud 3.7. So let's see what we get. While this is still running, we can go back to N8N and prepare the tool for it. So we can just copy the YouTube MCP server here with control C, control V. We got a new one. We open it, rename it here on top. Dynamus MCP server. We remove the one, rename, and we put it on 80.55 and go back to Canvas. Then we connect the tool with the MCP server and save it. Next step, we can clear the chat here as well and reset this one as well. So we have a clean one for the next test. Okay, then we can back go back to Tray AI and see how far it is. As you can see, it's still implementing, but we already got the Dynamus MCP server folder here with three files in it. So let's wait until this is finished. Okay, it now finished implementing. We got four files here and we now have to accept all creations or changes. Here on the bottom right, I click accept all. You can also see here is a readme with all the stuff we need to run it, install requirements and execute Python mainpy. So what I quickly want to change is the port you can Let's see in the main.py how it is working. Where is the port? Here it is. So it implemented the .env file. So we can just create a new file .env. And let's just copy it from my other server. We can use everything from here. Paste it, remove the YouTube API key because we don't need this here and change the port to 8055 as we did before in the N8N workflow. Then we save it. I remove or kill this terminal with the YouTube MCP server for now. Open here with the menu, new terminal, a new one. We change directory to Dynamus MCP server with CD. And then we can install the dependencies with pip install minus r requirements. Enter. You could also do this with the builder here and tell the AI to do it, but yeah, I don't see the a reason for it. It's two commands and we don't have to waste tokens for it, even if it is free. 
then we do python.main.py to run the server and let's see if it is working. Yeah, working perfect. So we did a one shot MCP server here. So as you can see, I did not do any other prompts. So it analyzed and built all that stuff and we run it and at least there are no errors. We don't know if it is working, but we will test out now. So let's go back to N8N and see if it is actually working. Here we are. I go here in the chat and let's ask what is Dynamus AI? As we don't have any connection to the web, so it can't do a web search to get this information, it needs to get it from the MCP server or within the knowledge of OpenAI itself. But I don't think uh, it does have any information about this because it's released a month ago that there is Dynamus AI. So I'm pretty sure it's not in. Okay, we got an error here. Let's see what the problem is. Ah, okay. I didn't read carefully. It's the YouTube MCP server because it's not running. We get an error here. So we just remove it for now here. Or we can go back and we can just remove the connection and let the tool here. So save again and let's run our question again. And as you see, it's running called the Dynamus MCP server. We can also check here in our terminal. And as you can see here, it called the tool fetch Dynamus content. It crawled the page, completed, got some stuff back, success, and we should have a result here. And we did. We got a brief description what it is. It's a AI mastery community, course platform for artificial intelligence. So this works perfectly, perfectly fine. Okay, this was everything I wanted to show you in this video. As mentioned, I will publish this YouTube stuff here on my GitHub account. So you can go to YouTube content, then MCP servers educational, and then here you got the reference folder and also the YouTube MCP server, which you can directly use and test out yourself. With this, thank you very much for watching, hope to see you in the next, next one and let me know what you want to see next and how you use your MCP servers. See you!